A large number of my colleagues have recently uh, got into uh, signing up to Twitter, but haven't really known how to use it, how to sort of get around and, and who to follow and what's it all about and so forth and so on. So I thought I'd make a little screencast about how I use Twitter um, to help me uh, improve my teaching in the classroom and, and how I learn more uh, through Twitter. So the first thing um, is to really you know, follow some really good people. That way your timeline that you see on here, uh, on your main view in Twitter, uh, via your home page, will be full of interesting tweets by the people that you follow. Okay, and if you find a post that you like the look of, then it's very, very easy then to just click through on it so that you can find out more about it. So here's one about iPad, iPads in education, so you can just click your link and then you're away reading something which would be of interest to you. Okay. Um, also, lots of discussions happen within uh, tweets and the way to follow a discussion thread in a tweet it's really use of hashtags and you can see this one here that we just clicked has got lots of hashtags in it. Uh, one that I want to talk about uh, really in quite a bit of detail is the UK Ed Chat hashtag. Now you can click on that and you can see discussions about the UK Ed Chat uh, here but I find it quite difficult to follow uh, UK Ed Chat particularly when it's actually happening uh, within the Twitter browser. And I'm going to talk in a few moments about a, an application that you can download for free called TweetDeck. Uh, here it is. Um, but I'll talk more about that in just a few moments. Going back to here, um, I want to just talk about lists. Because when you start getting lots of people that you follow, it's very difficult, in fact, to sort of stay on top of all the people that you follow. Particularly when you get to be following you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. So what you can do is when you actually add someone, let's take Bev Evans as an example, a really good person to follow actually, um, recent winner from the TES Awards uh, 2011, well done Bev. Um, but once you've got them and you're on their actual profile page, okay, it's very easy to just go onto here and add them to a list. And that means that you can actually uh, view lists in your timeline rather than your entire timeline. And that's particularly useful when you're working in your TweetDeck app. Now TweetDeck, you get your standard few things that come up automatically uh, with your all friends, your mentions, um, new followers and your direct messages uh, come down, I've moved mine to the end because they're personal and I don't want you to see those but um, what we can do quite easily uh, within here in your settings in TweetDeck okay, is actually um, set up more than one account if you want to but going back to your to the discussion about the um, lists and what have you you can display lists, so here's a list um, that contains tweets from all of the people that I work with um, within my school, okay, or, or people who work in a local area, and so that gives me a real quick and easy way of seeing all the people uh, that I want to follow in that one list. Okay, um, other things you can do when you have your hashtags, and this is where I was talking more about UK Ed Chat. It's really easy to follow a UK Ed Chat uh, debate here on the list that you've got here in TweetDeck. So tweet that you can download that for free. You can, if you've got more than one Twitter account, you can also add more Twitter accounts into here. So it's like a one-stop shop for managing all of your different things to do with your Twitter uh, account. And you can see the different hashtags that I follow: Southwest Grid for Learning Conference 2011, UK Ed Chat, the Purpose Debate, Teacher on Twitter, Ed Chat, Ed Tech, so forth and so on. So that's all going on here within TweetDeck. To finish off, I'm going to go back to UK Ed Chat. If you to find out more, um, visit the UK Ed Chat page. Now, the UK Ed Chat uh, takes place uh, each and every week on a Thursday night 
uh, between 8 and 9 o'clock in the evening. If you want to find out more about it, visit the UK Ed Chat wikispaces.com site or just Google it and that will bring it up. And um, big heads up to the person who started it all off in the UK. Um, please follow him on Twitter, that's at Coleport. And we've got a blog uh, here as well. So that's a little quick run through Twitter, how you might use it, and the app TweetDeck and UK Ed Chat. Hope to see you in the Twitter sphere. I'm Mark Anderson at ICT Evangelist. Thanks. <laughs>